Hi, my name is Matt Reisinger of the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm in front of a project that my company recently completed. This is a whole house remodel and a new construction project that we did with local architects uh, Rick and Cindy Black. And I want to talk to you about the water heating strategy. Uh, on this side of the film is a 1930s house uh, that we did a, a really a total remodel on. Very pretty old craftsman house. Just a great remodel project. When our clients bought this a couple years ago, it already had a tankless water heater for heating on the house. It's still working great. Um, so all we did was flush that, did a descaling, and that's working well there. What we're talking about today is an addition. We added a uh, casita, uh, or a pool, cabana house, guest house on the other side here. Rick and Cindy did a great job. It's about an 800 square foot jewel. But we didn't want to spend the money on a second tankless water heater system. They're great units, but they're not inexpensive. You're gonna spend at least $1,000 or more just for the equipment. So what we did instead is we installed a Metland demand pump in this house, ran a hot and cold water line over to there from this main hot water heater. So let's show you the main water heater on this house, and then I'll take you in the casita, give you a tour, and show you how we're bringing hot water over there. Okay, so we're on the side of the house now. This is that main house. This is the 30s house. And the clients had this Noritz unit when they bought the unit already, when they bought the house already. We're here in Austin, Texas. We really like these exterior mounted tankless water heaters. You can see this is where the venting is. Um, if this was inside the house, um, we'd have to use some very expensive venting for this, for this model. Um, so it really did not make sense to replace that. And again, we didn't want to add a second unit. So now let's pop over the casita and I'll show you how we're getting water from here to the casita. One thing to mention, since we're not gonna walk over there in the video, it's a pretty good distance between this unit and the casita's uh, hot water over there. It's probably uh, somewhere around 75 or so piped feet. So interesting thing about this video is this, this system would also work very well in a custom home or even a, large, uh, even a large custom home that could be several thousand square feet. We hate to use more than one tankless water heater just for cost reasons, but if you have a small enough household and your water heater demands are not huge, this uh, Metland demand system works real well. So let's go over and show you what that looks like. Okay, so now we're back over to the other side of the house. The tankless water heater where we just were is about 75 feet or so from this uh, from this seat. Uh, it's a really pretty design, isn't it? You've seen my blog, you've seen some photos of this already. Uh, certainly check out Rick and Cindy Black's uh, website. But we're walking into the casita and I want to show you the uh, kitchen where the pump is located. We're in the uh, kitchen for the casita. It's really not a, a huge house. It has a small kitchen and we've got one full bathroom on the other side of this wall right here. But here's where all the excitement is. There's a little doorbell button that we mounted right here above the kitchen sink. And the idea on this system is when we hit that doorbell button, this pump, which is under the sink, it's going to be a little hard to see. I didn't bring some great lighting. But there's the pump way back in there. That pump is just a little small uh, pump. It's made by Metland. It's called a demand system. I believe this is the 70 model, which is the lar slightly larger unit. And I'm actually going to turn on the pump. Let's see if you can see if we can hear it on the video or not. And if you can hear that, I'm trying to get the mic here right up close. I'm going to actually use my wireless mic. And... It's really quiet. It turned off after just a few seconds, but that be that's because I ran it a little bit ago. The idea on this pump is it has a thermocouple in there, a little sensor that goes, hey, the water is cold, we need to keep pumping. When that thermocouple senses that the water is 115, 120 degrees, somewhere in that range, it turns the pump off. And we've got a recirc loop. It's basically a recirculating pump, but it's not the same as the recirc pumps that run on a timer. This one, because of that thermocouple, is very smart, and it's not wasting um, gas or whatever source you're using for heating because it's only running until it's hot. Now check this out. We're 75 feet from that tankless water heater or more, uh, and one, two, three, it's hot now, about four seconds. So we're 75 pipe feet and you and I can get hot water in this casita in about four seconds. These Metlin Demand pumps are not very expensive and boy will they save money in, uh, over the long run because number one, we're not wasting money on a continuous research pump and number two, we're not dumping water down the drain. This pump takes about, I timed it earlier, it takes about 50 seconds to bring that hot water to this location 
I want to say it's a three quarter inch line that's running through there. So it's moving a lot of water in that 75 foot run to get from that water heater to here. But the beauty is none of that's going down the drain. I can do something else and prep. I could get ready to jump in the shower and 50 seconds later, I turn on that shower over here or this kitchen sink here and I've got hot in four seconds. What a great system. We use these a lot. I highly recommend them. Check out their website. I think it's gothotwater.com. Thanks for joining me, everybody. And certainly check out uh, my other videos as well. We do a video blog. We've done it for years and we have a lot of fun with it. We'll see you soon.